Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a tasty producer. Today, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. Here are today's rolls. You must completely use the food given. You can only add to the food. You can buy whatever ingredients you wish. Ooh, here's a new roll. You must make a dessert for a fancy holiday party. Let's see what we are making fancy today. Box brownie mix. I've never intentionally had box brownie before. It's not very fancy, not much chocolatey flavor. You still have to mix with water, oil, eggs. It doesn't save you much time. Brownie is a little bit too casual for holiday parties. I want to elevate it. I want to make it a little bit more festive. I've got some great ideas and as always, I'm excited to make it fancy. Okay, here's what I got. Heavy cream, cocoa powder, fresh cranberries, rosemary, eggs, dark chocolate chips, and my favorite, cacao nibs. From the pantry, I got sugar, powdered sugar, baking powder, cream of tartar, vanilla extract, and brandy. Let's get started. Make it fancy. Holiday edition. Okay, first step, use cranberries. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> oh, Ali! The best gift. All right, Rie, what are you making fancy today? I'm making box brownie. Box Brownie's brownie already fancy. <laughs> Do you have any Christmas traditions here? I usually bake cookies as a gift. Oh, that's... Yeah. Well, I haven't gotten any cookies <laughs> before. Why is this the first time I'm hearing this? I had to give you this year. How about you? Um, you know, my tradition is mainly to just chill. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by, Alex. Of course, and you know, I will be back for oh. the season finale of I Draw You Cook. That's We're true. We're gonna go head to head. That's right. You can't get rid of me. I believe in you. To make, make it fancy. fancy. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her, but I have to keep cooking. I'm using one cup of water, equal amount of sugar, turn the heat up, and let the sugar dissolve and make a little bit thicker. We do celebrate Christmas in Japan, but it kind of became a romantic holiday somehow. Christmas Eve is like a couple goes to nice dinner. So sugar has dissolved. I'm gonna use six ounce cranberries. So you're gonna just put like 30 seconds, just coat it evenly and scoop it up with throated spoon. And next, use some rosemary. Also, this is not cooking, it's just on coating. And set it aside. Let it sit for about 30 minutes to one hour and go on the next step. I'm going to use box brownie mix, three fourths cup and a quarter cup of cocoa powder, half teaspoon of baking powder. You want to shift the dry ingredients because there's like a little bit hard part. You don't want to put it in a cake. Move on to the wet ingredients. Six eggs, but I'm going to separate. When egg yolk mixes in the egg white, it doesn't whip well. So make sure you're just adding egg whites. See this? Add a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar that will help stabilize egg whites. Add a quarter cup of sugar gradually. It's gonna take a little bit long time. I'm going for stiff peaks. So this is stiff peak. Mix egg yolk next. One teaspoon of vanilla. And the cool thing I recently learned, this is exactly one teaspoon. So you don't need to use measurement spoon. This is done, and it's like pale white color now. You add this egg yolk mixture, and I'm going to add the dry ingredients little by little. Make sure you are like folding with spatula gently. Have you ever met Santa? No, I have never met Santa. If I like the weather forecast, you can track where it's the Santa. Do you know what I'm talking about? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It seems like everything is well incorporated, so butter is ready. Pour this into a pan. You want to spray the pan, put the parchment paper, and pour the butter. And I'm going to use offset spatula. <laughs> Spreading butter evenly. 
bake this uh, 375 yen high for 10 minutes and I'll be back. Cake is baked and it has been cooled for about 10 minutes. It's cold to the touch but it's still warm and you want to run the knife so it's not sticking to the pan. Transfer to dish towel and you're gonna start rolling. So basically we are training this cake to hold the shape. So this has to cool for 30 minutes and after you roll, make sure the seam is on the bottom side. And while we are waiting, I'm going to move on to next step. Heat up some cream. I will need one cup. I'm going to start like medium heat. Put chocolate chips. This is two cups, so I'm gonna just use them all. So when you start seeing like little bubbles pour over the chocolate, you want to steep so hot cream kind of melts the chocolate. It's been two minutes. I'm gonna start whisking. Okay, ganache looking good. Chill this in the refrigerator about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna need two cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of powdered sugar. Two cup is a lot of cream, so I'm going to use hand mixer and finish with whisk. So I want to whisk until soft peak. Okay, it's almost ready, so I'm going to switch to whisk. It's almost soft peak right now, kind of like that. Add cacao nibs. I'm adding a quarter cup. I just fold it so the filling is done. I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator until I use it. We have some brownie mix left over. I'm going to just make it for a decoration. Half cup of oil, two tablespoons of water, and two eggs. This is my first time making box brownie. I feel like it's just a cake in a square shape. Spray. So we did a little bit of research. Brownie was indeed, it's American dessert invented in Chicago. Okay, so I'm going to bake in the oven. We are back with the cake. It's cold. Open it. This cake has been trained to be rolled so it's easy and you want to take off this paper spread the cream just wanted to make sure it's going to be even so using ice cream scoop you don't want to put cream in the beginning so it's rolled well using like little spatula kind of small adjustment and i'm going to start rolling i'm going to make it tight cover up with dish towel it's my little cake baby put it in the refrigerator Ganache is cold and I want to make it a little bit fluffy. So I'm going to add powdered sugar and brandy. One tablespoon, two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I'm gonna mix this with hand blender. Shiny and fluffy. Set this aside. So cranberries are set. So I'm going to coat them with sugar. It looks really cute and like very wintry. I'm the type of the person who make New Year's resolution and forget about it three days later. <laughs> Every year, I promise myself this year I'm gonna drive on highway. I haven't achieved yet. <laughs> but maybe this year, 2020, you might see me on the highway. <laughs> right, beautiful. Kinda look like you drop cranberries and rosemary in snow. These are the brownies that I baked earlier and the cakes it's chilled it's like unwrapping a gift almost like opening a present when you're cutting cake put knife in hot water so it cuts well wipe the water at the end nice spiral you do the other way set this aside i'm gonna crumble this brownie i baked earlier i just wanted to make look like a dart i'm gonna transfer this Using the spatula, transfer the ganache. You don't need to go too thick. I think you just want it to get a nice layer. Feel like I'm a painter now. I'm gonna be a sculptor now. So using the fork and kind of give a line. It doesn't need to be a perfect. You can even do like wavy. You just want it to make it look like a tree. So now I'm going to put some decorations. The frosted cranberries looks good. It looks very festive. Cut the top of the rosemary and insert into the cake. To finish, I'm going to sprinkle some powdered sugar so it kind of looks like snow. And I'm done.
fancy dessert for fancy holiday party. Happy holidays, Ria! <laughs> this is what I look like at every holiday party. <laughs> It still kind of reminds me of like some sea creature. You call me a turtle again, Rie. Okay, this is beautiful. Thank you. Eat, eat, it, eat it, tree. Eat it, tree. Eat it, tree. Mm. 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 It's so yummy. It's so springy. Wait, can I eat one of? The, are these candied cranberries? Yeah. You know what? I've never actually eaten. Before. It's very tart, but it's good. I like it. Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you you feed it to me? me? Yeah, this is slippery. <laughs> Make, Make it fancy! What is this? This is... A yule log. Yes! Very fancy dish. Yes. Very fancy dish for a fancy lady. Yes. I love the holidays, so thank you for having you me. You love holidays. I do love the holidays. Yeah. That's a duck! Thank you! Ah, oh, it's a duck on her shirt. Why is the difference between elf and leprechaun? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Well, you made it fancy as always. Thank oh. you. Do you have like a holiday version of make it the make it fancy? Like, make, make it fancy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Your fancy treats have lured me all the way down from the oh North Pole. This is for you. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, nice texture, huh? Thank you. I kind of know about you, Olag. <laughs> I think this is about the fanciest dish I've had all year. <laughs> Let me give it a go. Mm. I also have milk for you. Mm, you know, oh, you do magic. <laughs> Good like me. <laughs> this is quite a treat. Anybody out there that's watching this, Come Christmas Eve, you don't have to leave me cookies. <laughs> you know, you've always been on the nice list, but uh, now you're on my fancy list. <laughs> so we have one last thing to do. Make, Make it fancy. fancy. Ho, ho, ho. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to write. And one